Let me see if I can get my story straight here. I met this girl at an Oasis gig. I must have phoned her and said, it's fucked up here. But I got on a plane and flew off to San Francisco. I don't know what the fuck I thought I was doing. I was just going to, like, disappear, you know. It was quite a traumatic time, but Talk Tonight was written about those few days. And out of that came that great song. So it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Sleeping on a plane, you know you can't complain. You took your last chance once again. I landed, stranded, hardly even knew your name. I want to talk. I sat in this girl's flat, probably doing too many fucking drugs and being a bit fucking mad. Unbeknown to me, they'd found out this is where we think he is. If I close my eyes now, I can't even picture the girl. I can't remember her name. It's a bit of a blur. You meet them people in America, you don't meet them anywhere else in the world. They take you under their wing. You know, they're spiritual people is what they are. She was one of them. She was saying, what, you're going to leave? And what are you going to do? And I guess at that point, I'm thinking, oh, well, actually, that's a fucking good point. What am I going to do? I can't sing. I wasn't a singer then. I'm no front man. I just needed a bit of time out, I guess. I may have been trying to teach somebody a lesson and failed miserably. <laughs> I think we'd heard about a couple of days that, yes, he's coming back. It means the band's staying together rather than going home and signing off the top. And obviously, by the time he's about to turn up, everyone's fucking shitting it, <laughs> you know, cos he, he can't put on a stern face. You know, he can't unsettle you. <laughs> and the new era started when he walked back into that hotel. And everything was different after that. And we all had to be different, cos if you're not with him, you're going home. I'd written these new songs, and someone had booked a recording session. Like, this was Oasis's fucking cure for everything. Let's go in the studio. Talk tonight. That's one moody fucking song, that. And it shows that little delicate side to him <laughs> that you just don't really see. He doesn't show these emotions, no. He never did. Apart from when you stick him behind the glass with a microphone and then he can let this emotion loose that he's got. But suddenly you can see no, you kind of see almost a little boy or something, you know? Something very, very innocent and very pure. They're my favourite moments. It's like door opens and a bit of light comes in. And then the door's shut again, you know, and he's calling you a twat. <laughs> 